So today for our activity, we are going to be creating work like Yayoi Kusami, okay? So we just learned a little bit about her and I'm gonna help you guys get started with this. So the first thing that you will need, and we're not ready for that yet, we'll get these passed out in a second, um, is we're gonna actually do this on a piece of music, okay? So you will each get one of these. Some of them are front and back and you can choose to use whatever size side that you want, okay? So um, the other thing that you are going to need is we are going to need watercolors. Now these are a little bit different watercolors than what we've used before. These are the Uli metallic watercolors. You can kind of see that a little bit. Um, these are in the pink bin by the sink. You will also need a water cup and a brush also by the sink and it wouldn't hurt to get a paper towel as well. So those are the materials that you will need to get started with our project. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video right now so you can work. Okay, now that you have your materials, we are going to get started. So I am going to draw on just this blank piece of paper first so that you can see. You guys will be drawing directly onto your um, music, your piece of music paper, okay? So there's going to be two options for this. You can create a pumpkin drawing in that style that Yayoi Kusami uses where they're kind of a little squiggly. Or you might choose to have one that's a little bit not so squiggly but kind of more ovals. I will show you how to do both very quickly. So first off, for drawing on this big one, you are just going to start with an oval shape right in the center. Now each time, then after that, the sides are going to get smaller. So they're gonna mirror each other. So this is the big one that I've started with here. So over here, I'm gonna make kind of a curved oval. Notice it's a little bit shorter than that first one. I'm going to do that over here as well. And if it's not the perfect same exact size, not a big deal. This one I'm gonna do even smaller. So now you have your basic pumpkin shape and you can just add a stem on there however you want, okay? So if we're doing more of the squiggly, funky kind of pumpkin, I kind of like that one kind of like this. I'll draw directly on the paper here. You're just gonna add a little bit more movement to it. There's really no wrong way to do it. So still start kind of big in the middle. It kind of looks like a bowling pin, if you will. Then I'm going to do the same thing, smaller, smaller, smaller over here on this side. Add my step, okay? So those are your two options. Um, if you're drawing along with the video, great. If we need to pause it to draw, that is fine too. Um, but let's take a, a second to get whatever type of pumpkin we want drawn done. So once you have this all drawn, you are ready to paint. Now these paints are a little bit different than watercolor. Um, I know it might, might be kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna show you as best here that you can. These colors actually are like a little bit more metallic um, than the regular watercolors, and so they'll have a really kind of cool, almost metallic, not quite sparkly, but they just have a really cool shine to them, okay? So as you start to paint these in, you are going to want to pick a set of colors. So I have some test sets here that you guys can use and pick from. Look at those posters over by the, um, by the sinks. Those are a really good one to reference to as well. Um, but I'll have this hanging up on the board so you guys can look at it as well. But you'll see that I've picked colors that all blend and mix together really well. And that's just gonna make your pumpkin look a little bit more interesting. So I know that we are doing a pumpkin but you don't necessarily have to do it orange. That is okay, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a different color than what I've already done. So I already have the orange to, excuse me, red to orange to yellow. That's the kind of combination I did on this one. And then this one I did the blue to 
purple to pink. So that will be a good option for you. I think for this one, I'm gonna switch it up and do this yellow, yellow, green, and green, okay? Actually, maybe I'll do this one, green, yellow, and orange. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward through the video so that you guys can see your next steps and then you'll be ready to paint. Oh, sorry, before we fast forward, I'm gonna tell you this. Okay, so this paint, you do need to make sure with your water cup, get the colors wet that you are going to be using, okay? So I'm not, I'm just blotting that into it. I'm not touching my brush to it, okay? So I am going to go ahead and now I will fast forward through this video and you guys can just watch. Okay, so once it's all filled in and painted, you can see here, um, do you see how, I'm gonna move this up. The orange, which is the first part I did, is already kind of starting to dry. You can see that the yellow and green is still a little bit wet, um, but it will dry pretty quickly, okay? So then, once you have that, you are going to decide what kind of design pattern you're going to use. You can use the traditional dots that um, Kusama uses, or you might choose to create your own patterns and designs for your pumpkins, kind of like the start of this example here. If you are choosing that route, all you are going to do, I have a folder of patterns that you can use. Inside of those patterns, there are a variety of patterns that you can look at and use to help you out, okay? So those you can use and that's just kind of up to you. But once it is dry, you are going to start going over your design with a black Sharpie. And I'm just gonna do the traditional um, Yaya Kusama look with the dots and so I'll speed this up here so you can kind of see what it will look like. One of the things that you'll notice I'm gonna try to kind of curve around with the lines of the um, pumpkins that I made. So kind of keep that in mind. So if it's curving this way, curve your dots or your designs with that as well.
finished example, um, depending on the color, the design you can do, they'll look totally different. Um, and once again, you can either choose to do those dots or you can get one of those pattern packets and do a funky design as well. So good luck. You might not get to all of this part today and that's okay. So um, we'll add the designs later if we don't get to that. Good luck.